Niagara Falls is a city in Niagara County, New York, United States. It is adjacent to the Niagara River, across from the city of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and named after the famed Niagara Falls which they share. The city is within the Buffalo, Niagara Falls metropolitan area and the western New York region. While the city was formerly inhabited by Native Americans, Europeans who migrated to the Niagara Falls in the mid-17th century began to open businesses and develop infrastructure. Later in the 18th and 19th centuries, scientists and businessmen began harnessing the power of the Niagara River for electricity and the city began to attract manufacturers and other businesses drawn by the promise of inexpensive hydroelectric power. After the 1960s, however, the city and region witnessed an economic decline, following an attempt at urban renewal under then-Mayor Lackey. Consistent with the rest of the Rust Belt as industries left the city, old-line affluent families relocated to nearby suburbs and out of town. With permission from the Iroquois, as a base for boat building, the ship Lou Griffin was built on the upper Niagara River at or near Cayuga Creek in the same year. He was accompanied by Belgian priest Louis Hennepin, who was the first known European to see the falls. The influx of newcomers may have been a catalyst for already hostile native tribes to turn to open warfare and competition for the fur trade. The city of Niagara Falls was incorporated on March 17, 1892 from the villages of Manchester and Suspension Bridge, which were parts of the town of Niagara. Thomas Vincent Welch, a member of the Charter Committee and a New York State Assemblyman and a second-generation Irish American, persuaded Governor Roswell P. Flower to sign the bill on St. Patrick's Day. George W. Wright was elected the first mayor of Niagara Falls. By the end of the 19th century, the city was heavily industrialized, due in part to the power potential offered by the Niagara River. Tourism was considered a secondary niche, while manufacturing of petrochemicals, abrasives, metallurgical products, and other materials was the main producer of jobs and attracted a large number of workers, many of whom were immigrants. Falls has a humid continental climate, DFA. The city experiences cold, snowy winters, and hot, humid summers. Precipitation is moderate and consistent in all seasons, falling equally or more as snow during the winter. The city has snowier than average winters compared to most cities in the U.S., however less than many other cities in upstate New York, including nearby Buffalo and Rochester.
Thaw cycles with temperatures above 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, are a common occurrence. The hottest and coldest temperatures recorded in the decade through 2015 were 97 degrees Fahrenheit 36 degrees Celsius in 2005 and minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit minus 25 degrees Celsius in 2003, respectively. 38% of warm season precipitation falls in the form of a thunderstorm. to the area. New York City urban planner Robert Moses built the new power plant in nearby Lewiston, New York. Much of the power generated there fueled growing demands for power in downstate New York and New York City. The neighborhood of Love Canal gained national media attention in 1978 when toxic waste contamination from a chemical landfill beneath it forced United States President Jimmy Carter to declare a state of emergency, the first such presidential declaration made for a non-natural disaster. Hundreds of residents were evacuated from the area, many of whom were ill because of exposure to chemical waste, fine. The contaminated neighborhood of Love Canal received national attention in 1978. After the Love Canal disaster, the city, which had already been declining in population for nearly two decades, experienced accelerated economic and political difficulties. The costs of manufacturing elsewhere had become less expensive, which led to the closure of several factories. The city's population eventually dropped by more than half of its peak, as workers fled the city in search of jobs elsewhere. Then, much like the nearby city of Buffalo, the city's economy plummeted when a failed urban renewal project destroyed Fall Street and the tourist district. In 2001, the leadership of laborers Local 91 was found guilty of extortion, racketeering and other crimes following an expose by Mike Hudson of the Niagara Falls Reporter. Union boss Michael Butch Corsini died before trial, while the rest of the union leadership was sentenced to prison. In early 2010, former Niagara Falls Mayor Vincenzo Anello was indicted on federal charges of corruption, alleging the mayor accepted $40,000 in loans from a businessman who was later awarded a no-bid lease on city property. The charges were dropped as part of a plea deal after Anello pleaded guilty to unrelated charges of pension fraud, regarding a pension from the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, of which he is a member. He was sentenced to 10 to 16 months in prison.